Chapter 75 of Women of History. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Kate McKenzie. Women of History by Anonymous. Chapter 75. Caroline Herschel. Another distinguished name can scarcely be forgotten or omitted here, although its honoured and venerable possessor still lives, as of 1847, connecting the present with the past age. Caroline Herschel, the sister of the illustrious Sir William Herschel, was, as is well known, the associate of her brother, both in the business of observation and in that of calculation, throughout the whole of his splendid career. Four comets are enumerated as discovered by her, one on the 1st of August 1786, another on the 21st of December 1788, another on the 7th of January 1790, another on the 8th of October 1793. After the death of her brother, on the 23rd of August 1822, Miss Herschel returned to his and her own native country, Hanover, and there proceeded to employ herself in drawing up a catalogue of 25,000 nebulae discovered by her brother, which she completed in 1828, and for which the Astronomical Society of London that year voted her a gold medal. The newspapers announced that she celebrated the 97th anniversary of her birthday on the 16th of March, 1847. On that occasion, the King, it is stated on the authority of a letter from Hanover, sent to compliment her. The Prince and Princess Royal paid her a visit, and the latter presented her with a magnificent armchair, the back of which had been embroidered by Her Royal Highness, and the Minister of Prussia, in the name of his sovereign, remitted to her the gold medal awarded for the extension of the sciences. Notwithstanding her advanced age and bodily infirmities, Miss Herschel, it has since been stated by her distinguished nephew, Sir John F. W. Herschel, in a letter to the Athenaeum, is still, in 1847, in possession of her faculties. End of chapter 75